Hi, welcome along to another video. Welcome to the new subscribers. In this video, we will take a look at the weather modification activity carried out by Italy, that was started in the year 1900. Italy has had a weather modification program in place for more than 120 years. Only the United States and France have such a long-running weather modification program. Germany started after Italy with their activity starting in the 1930s. Italian weather modification programs are known as a hail suppression program which is carried out to protect grape crops which are used to produce alcoholic beverages. It also involves other alpine region grapevine growers in countries such as France and Germany as well as Austria. Consequences of these activities can be seen in areas such as the southeast of Spain where atmospheric moisture redistribution has caused major forest fires due to the dehydration of the areas outside of the weather modification target areas. Let's now delve into Italy's history of weather modification activity. Thankfully, through persistent searching on the Internet Archive the information in this video can be verified. The rewriting of weather modification history to make it look like a modern thing only serves to circumvent debate on what damage to natural weather systems has been done via such projects. Astro and Astro 2 Astro focused on the recovery and enhancement of the meteorological information of Trentino in Italy. Thunderstorm postcards, meteorological charts and weather journals of stations located in the province of Trento have been scanned. The data fact sheet section on the IDA portal Astro web page shows a link for Astro 2, CMA, Integra, Astro 2 site index, which is now a dead link. A working link, via the Internet Archive, is in the sources posted in the information section of this video. Astro 2 correlates bibliographic sources on experimental hail defense studies. The National Historical Library of Italian Meteorology specializes in the geophysics sector, with particular regard to meteorology, climatology, and seismology. There are also numerous texts concerning particularly severe weather phenomena including studies on the defense against hail. During the project, specialized bibliographic research was carried out, aimed at drawing a picture of the historical development of anti-hail defense in Trentino. The digitization of the texts kept in the library allows for their free consultation, which are not publicly accessible, and represents the first step in the creation of the CREA Digital Meteorological Library. Anti-hail sound cannons. Keep in mind these are early attempts at modifying the weather and sound cannons are described in our current times as crude, early, pseudoscientific attempts at weather modification. That statement works if you ignore modern versions of the technique. In Mexico in August 2018, farmers accused the vehicle manufacturer Volkswagen, VW, of altering the weather. VW had installed anti-hail cannons at its Puebla production facility which fire shockwaves into the atmosphere to prevent the formation of hailstones, to prevent damage to new vehicles. So the technique is still being used, over 100 years after Italy was using it. The pseudoscientific claim doesn't have much value, except for disinformation objectives. The 1700s The concept of hail suppression and experiments related to it, dates back to the 1760s with projects being carried out in 1769 in France. The professor of physics and meteorology, F. Houdai, at the National School of Agriculture in Montpellier, France published a paper in 1901, in Paris, titled, Les Orges et Grilles et la Terre des Canons, which translates as hailstorms and cannon firing, in which it was stated. A French physicist from Jacob proposed in 1760 in an article inserted in the Encyclopedia, the installation of firing stations to fight against storms of hail and arago reports in his memoir on thunder, published around 1769, that the Marquis de Chevriers on his property in Voronard, Macone, was burning, each year. 100 to 150 kilograms of mine powder to defend against hail. At the beginning of the 19th century, several communes of Macone, Voronard, Aes, Romanesh, and Flory, employed mortars with a load reaching 500 grams of powder to ward off hail. This custom has survived, to 1901 when the paper was published, in some localities in the same region, but in the state of isolated shots on certain points of the vineyard.
It is not too far a stretch to go from the 1760s up to the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. In September 1899, Professor Luigi Bombici Porter released a paper titled Spari contro la nubi temporalesh grandinifer, translated as You Shoot Against the Hazardous Storm Clouds, which was a summary from a conference on experiments, published as an extract from a Siena agricultural meeting in 1899. A report of studies done in the year 1900 by the government station for the study of thunderstorms and hailstorm experiments in Giorgio Monferrato was published in 1901 by the Central Meteorological and Geodynamic Office. They also published similar reports in 1902 and 1903. In 1912, Dr. Pericol Gamba, director of the Pavia Geophysical Observatory, published a paper titled A New Defense System Against Hail and Atmospheric Electrical Discharges. The 1950s A couple of world wars later, in 1950, the report on the conduct of the hail defense experiment implemented in 1950, by the Volunteer Consortium Experimentation Senate Anti-Hail Fight, in the province of Bigamo was published. In the introduction it was stated in making public the report on the conduct of the anti-hail defense experiment implemented during the year 1950 of the Senate Voluntary Consortium, prepared at the request of the competent Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. I think it appropriate to proceed this brief introduction, hoping that it will serve to further disseminate knowledge of the exciting problem and to stimulate, above all, in many the initiative to become promoters of experiments of this kind because only by their multiplication and continuation will it be possible, in a few years, to say whether science and technology have really given man the possibility to defend oneself from the scourge of hail. And here we are 75 years later. Various reports about Italian activity were released in the 1950s. The Center for the Development of Anti-Hail Defense of the Province of Asti at the Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture published a paper, by Dr. Ezio Barbaro titled, New Developments in Anti-Hail Defense, Ionizing Oxides, 1955. The introduction states, before reporting in detail on the new means of defense that have come into action in 1955 in the province of Asti and related results, it is necessary to make some brief considerations. Recalling in summary what has been achieved overall so far in the sector of the fight against hail on a scientific and technical level. The report states further, this technique, consisting, as mentioned above, in sowing or injecting new nuclei into the atmosphere, has now been fully applied in Europe to anti-hail defense, in 1952 in France, Toulouse, in 1953 in Switzerland, Magadino, and in 1954 in Italy, Piedmont, Lombardy and Veneto and in, the former, Yugoslavia, Belgrade. The 1950s finish up where the same technique, seen decades before make another appearance with a report including the basis of a study on the effects of pressure waves caused by explosions on hailstones, which was written by Ottavio Vittori Antisari, in 1959. The work to which this report refers to is part of the program of the 1959 research on hail clouds in the Veronese area. They collaborated with the organization of the Ministry of Agriculture, the National Anti-Hail Union and the Meteorological Service of the Air Force. The second half of the 20th century. The theme continues into the 60s. The effect of shock waves on hail grain models was published in 1968 authored by Roger F. Favreau, Canada, and Gaiji Goya, Colorado, USA. September 1969 and we find American confirmation via Herbert S. Appleman which was published by the Air Weather Service of the U.S. Air Force. Large-scale hail suppression efforts have been carried out for a number of years in Russia, France, Switzerland, and Italy, and smaller efforts in the United States and other countries. Results are contradictory. The Russian tests appear most promising but it is generally agreed that further testing under scientifically controlled conditions is necessary before their conclusions can be accepted. The 1970s sees, hail prevention in the province of Trento authored by Pietro Ferrari and Serafino Orsi, 1973. In 1973, a survey was made of the hail phenomena that had occurred on the cultivated area during the period June to September, with the aim of documenting the number of hailstorms, their spread, intensity and energy kinetics. Some interesting observations have been made on the kinetic energy, 
frequency and chronological distribution of the phenomenon throughout the day and control period as well as on the geographical and altimetric distribution of the hailstorms. For now, no conclusions can be drawn about the meaning and effect of anti-hail systems in place. The observations will continue in the coming years with the aim of verifying this effect, extending the survey to the province of Bolzano. 1982. A paper was published titled, The Italian Yugoslav Defense Against Hail in the Border Area of Collio, Domenico Vento. 1987. Another paper was published titled, Research of the Italo-Yugoslavian Common Hail Prevention System also written by Domenico Vento. There is probably more info around for the 1990s to 2010s but that would probably need an Italian speaker researcher. In 2016, Italy did crop up again after hosting delegates from the UAE Rain Enhancement Program, where they exchanged innovative ideas on rain enhancement. That was a summary of Italian weather modification activity. Thanks for watching. Please share it, give a thumbs up on the video to assist YouTube's algorithms and subscribe if you haven't already. You can find recent news reports on global activity on my Substack page and those reports will appear on this channel sooner or later. I'll be back again soon with some more info, until then, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time.